Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. Hi, my name is Dave Kelly. We're about to get started, and I just wanted to uh, make sure you knew what was going on and you were ready. Uh, first things first, all the support cars, all of the family and friends out here, and for all of us already lined up, I just need to do a quick check. Uh, can you all just test the horns to be sure they work? Let me hear your horns. Very good. Uh, can I hear from anybody who has a grandparent in the car? Let me hear your horn. Okay, this announcement is especially for the grandparents and me. This is going to last about an hour, so you can't pee until then, just so you know. But for the rest of us, this is going to be such a great time. We want to encourage you to honk like crazy, especially this first car is going to come here and they're going to be the, they're not going to have as many people to honk. So if you hear my voice, when we say a name, we want you to honk loud. Also, on the webcast of this, if you have relatives and friends at home, I'm told that when you flash the high beams, it looks well too. So anytime you want to honk your horns or hit your lights, feel free to do so because it'll be very encouraging. So just as a test for all of the horns, you guys, you'll, you'll catch this quick. I want you to respond. Ready with your horns. Da, 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 da. Wow, you guys are talented. Seriously, a talented group. Okay, I'm going to go down here. We're going to get started. You're going to see some very proud grads up here, almost as proud as the parents are out there. That's going to start in just a sec. One more time, let me hear from you so we can get going. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our first graduate to hit the stage. Go ahead up. Would you please put your hands together for Paige Shotanis? Okay. And now, our next graduate, would you please put your horns together for Malam Mendez? Uh, Ryan, the photographer, are you ready for this? I want to make sure you're set. Very good. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome our next graduate, Marin Bai. Go on up, Marin. Yes.
Our next graduate wearing a lovely ensemble here for you today. Would you please welcome Paige Abernathy? Come on up here, Paige. Good work, Ian. This is big times. You want to get the right shot, right? Exactly. Another contestant on the show today. Go ahead up. Would you please welcome Jenna Sherrington? Photographers, are we ready for this big moment? Are you set? Good, very good. Our next graduate. This is something, a big day for her as a big day for all of us. Go ahead. Would you please welcome Paige Abernathy. Come on up here, Paige. That is Olivia. Thank you. Hey, now you know what I have to do. Before, don't go anywhere, Olivia. I got the wrong name, so we're gonna fix it and honk for the right name. So would you please congratulate Olivia Lalonde. There she is. <laughs> well done. Thank you, Mom. That was excellent. Our next graduate with us here today, let's honk away for Sergio Fernandez Sharif. <laughs> All right, we get twice as much fun here. This time we're gonna send up first, go ahead. We have Joshua Broberg. Come on up there, Josh. What a rock star. Okay, now Josh, step a little bit that way so that Lucas, and then we'll do a group shot. And joining him on the stage, Lucas Broberg. Go on up, Lucas. All right. And now let's honk for two for the price of one. Well done, team. All right, we have a very special graduating moment here today. I want them to be there, ready. Now, a lot of people are very excited for Kaylee Halliday, but you know, when Kaylee hits the stage, we also have to make sure we welcome Sadie. Let's welcome Kaylee and Sadie Halliday.
<laughs> Look at that. That's impressive. The uh, Sadie does still have a couple more exams to get through, but we'll be graduating shortly. I'm sure it's going to happen. Our next grad. How's the... That's Grandma Faye getting the shot set up. Hi, Grandma Faye. Are you ready for this? I don't want to send her up till you are ready. All right, Grandma's ready, which means we can say go. Go ahead. Would you please welcome to the stage Alexandria Yost. Go on up, Alexandria. Nice work. Hi, Grandma. How are you? Are you proud today? Good, you should be. Oh, is there? Oh, look at there he is. Hi, Dad, back there. You guys ready for this? I'm going to make sure I have all my pronunciation right just for you guys. And now, from the back to the front, Grandma, Dad, everybody, let's hear it for Shayla Watkin. Wow. Good work. Grandma, did you get all the shots you want? Good. He's got an entire entourage, does he? I know. All right, are we ready? We're going to do it. If you want to move right to that red stripe, you'll get a nice square shot. You can just act like you own the place, because in fact, you do own the place. Brandon, are you ready? All right, head on up. Our next graduate made it all the way here, 12 years of school. Let's hear it for Brandon Wallace. Look at that. I know, it's an emotional time. It's a proud time. How's it driving, Mom? Well, just move up a little bit. Scooch. We just need you to scooch a bit. Look that way, not at me. Okay. All right. Our next graduate. 12 years of school for this moment on stage. Go ahead, Justin. Is Justin Royer. this you got like an entourage here man when you're good you're good all right Phillips and make your way up there let's get those horns going the lights going for Philip Brooks We have a very special moment for you now. Ethan uh, started at Carroll and ended up at Bishop O'Byrne, and we want to make sure he gets a big welcome to us here. Let's hear it for Ethan Winters! I'm Dave. 
This is so great. Okay, I have to be really nice to Nathan because Nathan's mom teaches my son. So if this goes well, my son will graduate in one day too. Are you ready? All right. Gotcha. Making his way to the stage, let's welcome our next graduate, Nathan Severson Baker. Yes. Yes. That's Mom Lori. Are you ready? I don't want to send her up till you're ready. Are you ready? Yes. What? You guys are dating? This is getting interesting all of a sudden, isn't it? All right, our first, would you please welcome, go ahead up. Our first to the stage, Ainsley Quinn. All right, Ainsley, you step off to the side a bit while the rest of us get very excited for our next graduate. Would you please welcome Connor Bazant? And now, this is a, uh, uh, a picture to say this is our future. These relationships are our future. Connor and Ainsley, let's honk for the two of them. That was awesome. Now, this is what we're going to do. We're going to give our, uh, our final two a chance to get back in their vehicles and get parked while uh, we just talk about what a great day. And then we have a bit of a formal program that we're going to do, if that's all right with all of you. As they make their way out, let's flash our lights and honk those horns for the graduating class of 2020. Now, I know you all know this, but I'll tell you anyway. Uh, 89.3 is the FM station that everyone else is listening to. If you're wondering how everyone can hear us, that's how it's happening. Uh, I also want to say that this is a very exciting time. And while we're getting our way to the stage, I would like to make a very special reading. And it's kind of important for being right here. We'd like to acknowledge that we are on the traditional territories of the people of Treaty 7 region in southern Alberta, which includes the Blackfoot Confederacy, the Siksika, Pekani, and Kainai First Nations, the Tsutina First Nation, the Stony Nakoda, including the Chiniki, Bears Paw, and Wesley First Nations, and the city of Calgary is also home to the Métis Nation of Alberta Region 3. Now, this is what makes it so important and so meaningful today. Where we sit today, right now, where the Bow Me River meets the elbow in this area right here is important, and that is the traditional Blackfoot name of this place is Mokinsis, which we now call the City of Calgary. We would like to acknowledge all of those who have come before us with their wisdom and with their experience through thousands of years on this land and thank them as we only do today, with a glorious horn honk. Let's hear it for them. Yes!
So we're going to start our formal program now, and to get us into the spirit of this, let's watch this opening video. We've decided to take increasingly aggressive steps to keep you and your family safe. In particular, mass gatherings are a significant source of concern during this pandemic. It's hard, but it's the right thing to do. What is this? I was saying after yesterday, I, we got to do a, some of this yesterday, how proud I am to be here, how proud all of this team is to be here knowing that this is such a fun event. And there's a lot of people that talk about how this has been a difficult time, and it has. But this moment today is about joy, is about the future, and is about the positive energy that only young people can bring. And one of the people that wanted to be part of that was our mayor, Mayor Nenshi. He didn't want to miss out on this, so he sent a video message for you. Let's have a look. Hi, I'm Nadi Nenshi, Mayor of Calgary, with a special message for the class of 2020. So here we are. This is not the graduation that you dreamed of. It is not what any of us thought would happen to us this year in 2020. But I gotta tell you something. We're going through something that no one living today has ever experienced. And we're going through it together as a community here in Calgary and as a community of human beings around the world. And it may feel like times are tough. We're dealing with a global pandemic. We're dealing with really hard questions around racism, around how we live together as a community, around how we govern ourselves. And we're doing all of that at a time when some of us are feeling very isolated and very alone. But you know what else 2020 has been about? And I don't mean murder hornets. 2020 has been about resilience. It's been about rethinking what's important. It's been about reconnecting with our families. You're gonna have a story for the ages. You're gonna tell your grandkids about what happened in 2020 in your senior year. But what you'll tell them is that you very quickly pivoted. You learned how to learn in a brand new way. Your schools and your teachers did exactly the same thing. You were supported by your families and your loved ones and your friends in order to succeed. And this class succeeded like no other. So congratulations. Congratulations to everyone in the class of 2020. I can't wait to see what you accomplish next. Yeah! Absolutely. Now, uh, I need to talk with Ian, who is a parent. Ian, just honk your horn so we know where you are. Right here? Okay, now Ian, didn't know this was going to happen until about five minutes ago, but we like to run a little wild here and see what happens. I'm going to call Ian. Ian, be sure your uh, radio is down. So turn your radio down, 
and I'm going to give Ian a ring and just have a little chat with him to see uh, if he has any thoughts for us. Hi, Ian, how are you? Oh, you know, I'm great. Absolutely <laughs> wonderful. Well, it's nice to have you here. Which, uh, why don't you identify the grad that you are in a car with? So, Jenna Sherrington, Bishop yeah. Carroll. Isn't that great? Now, let's, as you look around this group and all of these young people who maybe didn't even know they were going to get a grad, do you have a message for them as a parent? Yeah, I, I think that um, taking the time to celebrate their successes is just so incredibly important. And, you know, it didn't seem like it was going to happen. And I'm sure lots of people are doing it in their own way. But just to have kind of that group success celebration is so vital. So it's great to see everyone here today doing that. Tell me a bit about how you feel as a dad watching all this happen. <laughs> well, you, you know, total mixed feelings. I mean, it, it means that uh, they're all moving on to do new and, and exciting things. And uh, the house will be a bit cleaner as a result. <laughs> uh, but, but, you know, we'll, we'll miss, uh, miss having it around, that's for sure. Well, here's the great thing to know. As long as you have food at your house, they'll come by. As long as you have a washing machine at your house, they'll definitely come by. <laughs> yeah, that happened uh, last night. <laughs> well, look at on behalf of all the parents, let's give them a honk and thank you, Ian, for being part of this show. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much. That was beautiful. We're going to be talking to a student in just a sec, but there were some professional athletes who knew you would be here in a parking lot where some of them know where they go to work, and they wanted to send in some thoughts too. So let's have a look at their messages. What is up, 2020 grads? Curtis Dixon here with the Calgary Roughnecks. Hey, guys. It's Milan Lucic here from the Calgary Flames. Hi. I'm Carson Folk from the Calgary Hitmen. Hi guys, this is Dave Dickinson, the head coach of the Calgary Stampeders. I've been asked to talk to you guys and congratulate you for being part of the class of 2020. Graduating high school is a huge accomplishment and you should all be very proud. You have something solid underneath you now, something that people treasure and will look at you is that you have worked and you've accomplished a goal. Now figure out what the, the rest of life is gonna hold. What's the next goal? What path do I need to get on in order to get there? I know times have been a little tough this year. I know this isn't exactly the way you thought you'd be celebrating. It's been a crazy, crazy year. So if your path, if your goals are blocked, find a way around them, find a way through them. That's what we're looking for. We love that view from the top. Try to get there. I mean, try to get there, guys. And that's important that you can have to work and find your skills to do it. But um, I really want to just wish you guys the best of luck. You've made the city of Calgary proud, your parents, your, yourselves proud. Now go out there and get after it, make the best of it, and congratulations once again on a great job in high school. A huge congratulations from all of us at the Calgary Hitman. Massive congratulations. I just wanted to congratulate you guys on a big milestone in your lives. Uh, all the best in the future in the next chapter. Um, and stay safe and enjoy what you can with your family and friends. Let's hear it for our athletes. So fun. This is so fun. Now, uh, I want to talk to one of our students, and I'm, it's going to be Philip. Philip, can you honk your horn or have someone honk? All right. Back here, I'm calling Philip. And uh, Philip, just be sure your radio's down in your car, or if you want to stand outside your car so we can see it, it doesn't matter. Whatever works for you. Hello? Uh, is Philip in, please? This is Philip. Oh, hey, Philip. How are you? Uh, I'm great. Who's in your car with you? Introduce us to who you came here with. Uh, my dad, my mom, and my girlfriend, Sarah. Awesome. Well, welcome, Sarah and mom and dad. Philip, what are you feeling today on your grad? I'm feeling very happy and excited that this is happening. So do you have any thoughts for as you look around at all these folks who went, you went to school with, some you know, some you don't? What is your thoughts for them? Well, I just want to say congratulations, and I'm glad we all got a chance to graduate together. It's a beautiful day, and uh, we brought this beautiful weather just for you. I know you're a big kite flyer, so this is a perfect time for you, isn't it? Oh, for sure. <laughs> well, let's hear it for all our grads, but especially for Philip. Thanks for being part of the show. Philip.
Now, for Philip and for, uh, for all you other grads, just one thing I want to let you know. I got to say hi to a lot of grandmas and grandpas and to your parents. Today is a day for your parents to say, it feels like just last year we were taking you to kindergarten. And then that's when you say, yeah, Dad, you've said that about 30 times today. And that's just the way the day is going to go. From all the grandparents and parents, we're looking at you going, wasn't it just a week ago that you were starting school? And now look at you with such a big moment today and such a great future. What we want to do is take an incredible grad picture. And I'm going to explain that. It's our big moment in a bit. But before we do that, to help set it up, all of us on the crew here, we wanted to give you something. So we put together a video that's from us to you. Have a look. If you ask your parents what they remember about their grad, what they wore or how they got there, or what anyone even said at their grad, they won't have a clue. No one ever does. But not this time, not your grad. Your parents will remember today. Your friends will remember today. And you will remember today. You'll even remember the car you took to get here because you drove the car right to the stage, then walked across this stage in front of your car, then got back in your car and watched everyone else do the same from their car while you sat in your car. So, where does that leave you? It leaves you with the chance to go from a grad that no one has experienced before to a life no one has lived before. You get to choose what really is essential. What does the world really need and who do I really want to be in it? Because clearly the world needs you. Choose to help because we need it. Choose to lead because we need leaders. Choose to be courageous because this is a time that calls for courage. And someday, some of you might have kids. And someday, those kids will graduate high school. And they'll say to you, do you even remember your grad? And you'll pull out a picture of a parking lot. And you'll say, yes, I do. That was the year everything changed. It was the start of something great. And I, I was right there in the middle of it. Let's drive our cars into the future. Congratulations, class of 2020, the class that started it all, the class that no one will ever forget. <laughs>